Welcome to Green Energy Futures. I'm David Dodge. You know that net zero homes are starting to go mainstream when the Home Builders Association launches their own net zero labeling program. Hi, my name's Sonia Winkleman. I am the director of Net Zero Energy Housing at the Canadian Home Builders Association. Canadian home builders are involved in a $34 billion industry. And now their association has its own net zero home labeling program. Fundamentally, a net zero home is one that produces as much energy as it consumes over the course of the year. And that energy that it produces, in our case, must be renewable energy. So our homes that are in our program are up to 80% more energy efficient than a code built home or a home built to the national building code. The new labeling program is designed to help consumers and builders, and it recognizes two levels of certification. We have two tiers. We have net zero ready and net zero. So it's really just the two. But fundamentally, these houses are designed and constructed exactly the same. The only difference between a net zero ready home and a net zero home is that the net zero ready home has not yet installed the the panels on the house. Net zero homes are better insulated, have tighter building envelopes and energy efficient windows and appliances But Winkleman says the two innovations that have really helped make net zero homes go mainstream are affordable solar and efficient heat pump furnaces. The Home Builders Association has even done some market research on what you and I think about net zero. Well, there's a lot of fantastic benefits about net zero. And um, so we went um, to four cities across Canada and we asked a bunch of consumers, what do you like the most about these houses? Uh, And it really, what really caught everyone's attention was the fact that they actually can generate as much energy as they consume. Consumers also love the comfort of a net zero home. They prevent drafts, they filter the indoor air to reduce dust and allergens, and the result is really just exceptional energy performance and the ultimate in comfort. It's, it's a home that's at the forefront of sustainability. It all adds up to a better living experience. Winkleman says, at first, it was only early adopter builders getting involved in building net zero. Now, she's seeing the next wave of builders getting involved. Well, interestingly, in Edmonton, there's a perfect example of the success we've seen with reducing the cost to get to net zero. In March, Landmark Homes uh, had a ribbon cutting for their first affordable net zero home, which came in um, at just under 400, so at $399,000, which was a single detached home with a garage, the, the land and the taxes included for that price. And so... Uh, For those in the industry, that's just, it's a milestone. For the Canadian Home Builders Association, the program helps educate consumers and it also helps educate and train builders as well. The cool thing about the new Net Zero label is it works hand in hand with the EnerGuide Home Labeling Program. So every home that goes through our program will get an EnerGuide label. If it's a Net Zero home, it needs to say zero or even a negative number showing that it would actually generate a surplus. Or if it's a Net Zero ready home, uh, usually what we're seeing the numbers coming in at is between like about 34 to 44 gigajoules. The target, Net Zero or Net Zero ready. There's every reason to think that the idea might just take off as jurisdictions like British Columbia push for a net zero ready building code by 2032. Want to learn more? Check out greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. We got to install microwave ovens.